We're in Chennai, India, and this place has the most incredible food. So we're taking you on a huge food hunt today. We're hunting down Chennai's best street food in some local neighbourhoods to bring you some mouth-watering Indian street food. This video is part of our Huge India series and we're exploring some of Chennai's most dynamic spots to bring you the best food the city has to offer. Make sure you watch right to the end of this video because you don't want to miss any of this amazing food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. We're at Elliot's Beach in Chennai and this part of the beach is lined with fish restaurants so let's go and get us some fried fish. These stalls are brilliant, they're covering the beach, it's packed with people down here and there's plastic chairs all over the sand so you just sit on the sand, put in your order and your fish comes out and the fish is all lined up in little cabinets at the front of the stalls and there's a bigger variety so we've ordered a mackerel which has been fried and some anchovies, some little whole anchovies so both of those have been covered in spice. They were already marinated in some spice but when they went onto the hot plate they got covered in a dry spice mixture, like really covered in that dry spice mixture. And then a ton of oil was thrown onto the hot plates as well. And then they've just been left to shallow fry in that oil. And the, particularly the mackerel, it was really flaming up around the side, the hot plate, and you can see the little burn edges on the tail. So there's a lot of heat going on. I want to try the anchovies first and both of these have come with some fresh red onion and a little slice of lime. So let's put some lime onto these anchovies. Give it a bit of a zing, some red onion and just a big handful of anchovies and red onion. Oh. Wow, that is a flavour burst. Mm. I love the texture in the anchovies because there's all the bones are still in there, it's the whole fish. So you get the little crunch of the bones but they're very soft so they don't jab into your mouth or anything. And the, the outside is a little bit crispy because of all that spice mixture. In the oil it's gone a little crispy on the edge but then the flesh inside is just super soft still so they're really well cooked. Let's grab some more. I think big handfuls of these at once is the way to go. Mm. Oh, a little bit spicy from chili. Just a lot of flavor though. It's mild spice. There's a bit of sweetness, the onions are a bit sweet. The, the lime gives it a good edge, a little bit of sourness. That is an awesome beach snack. Wow, that is a good beach snack. You wanna try this with mackerel. I'm going to rip off some of this mackerel. So it's a very oily fish, so it should be really moist flesh. Wow, that peeled off so easily. It's boiling hot. We'll put some onion on there, squeeze of lime all over it. Let's get that down. This flesh feels really, really crispy. And then that flesh, I mean the skin, sorry, really crispy and the flesh feels really juicy. Wow. Oh yeah. That is amazing. Really, really well cooked. A little bit of crunchiness on that flesh. Oh, the skin. Can't get my flesh and skin right. And then the, the flesh is just super, super juicy. Onions again, a little bit of freshness and crunch. And the spice mixture is great. It's really gritty. It's a really thick spice mixture. So it's got a good bit of chili kick, but it also adds texture, which I really like. It's adding a bit of crunch to the fish. Now I'm loving that mackerel, but the anchovies are what is just, oh, they're just heaven. They're so good. So I got another big handful. They're a little bit oily. Got some of that onion. Oh man. The, the taste of those, 
and the location. You put that together, you can't be better. The sound of the ocean behind me, the waves crashing on the beach, feet in the sand, that flavor, just perfect sea flavor, nice and salty, the good spice. This is the perfect, perfect combo. What a cool thing to be able to do in Chennai is just sit on the beach and eat this fresh, fresh, grilled on the hot plate. Our next stop is for biryani and this eatery behind me is already packed with people. There is a huge queue. So let's go and join the line and grab ourselves a plate. Often at eateries there is a separate line for women so I was able to bypass this whole queue and just put my order through so I've got my ticket. Let's go and grab a plate of mutton biryani. I have got my epic looking mutton biryani in front of me. How good does this thing look? So it's served from a banana leaf and there's just piles of rice as you can see and then huge bits of juicy looking mutton. There's also some tomato in there and a ton of spices. So they're serving up the biryani from these gigantic pots. The pots were huge and they're loading up banana leaves with just spoonfuls of this biryani. This is dum biryani. So the meat is marinated and then cooked together with the rice over a slow heat. I have got to get into this thing. you just how tender this meat is so look I'm barely prodding it and it's just falling apart it's coming clean off the bone look at that clean off the bone holy moly okay let's get some tomato in this bite Check out this piece here. It's got a beautiful coating of fat there which just melts in your mouth when you eat it. So I'm just gonna pull that apart. Whoa, look at these bones, they just slide out of it. Whoa! Okay, let's get a piece of this meat. Go for it. tender meat, the rice has got a little bit of bite still, and then the flavour of all those spices, there's cardamom, there's clove, and then those creamy red onions which are very zingy. And this 
spot we were eating. Most people seem to be taking the biryani away in parcels, but we're eating in, and it is just this tiny room. We're all leaning up against the counter and just wolfing down this biryani. It's really, really cool. Epic biryani, and check out the crowd now behind me. So many people waiting for a plate of that epic meal. Let's go and get our next snack. Next stop is this restaurant for some South Indian snacks. Wow. This being a South Indian restaurant means they serve their food in the traditional way. So on the banana leaf. So they dump the banana leaf on your table and then lay it up really rapidly. They just come flying at you and dump all the chutneys on your plate. But the thing we came here to eat was this ball, a panyaram. So it's a little fried ball which is made of lentil and rice flour. But to go with that we decided to get a rawa dosa which is this humongous looking dosa on top filled with chilies. Underneath there there is an idli hiding which is a little rice flour sort of steamed cake and then all the chutneys oh and a bowl of dal which is in a beautiful little leaf. Since we came to this restaurant for the panyaram I'm gonna rip into that first. Wow it's really really crispy on the outside Ooh -hoo, and there's a chili hiding in there that green chili. That's Break a bit off. Oh, and so there's some onions, some curry leaves, some green chili. It's quite um, cake like in the center there, and then really, really crispy on the outside. And it's not hot, these aren't fr fried fresh, so it's sort of room temperature. There's so much chutney to choose from, I don't know which one to go for. Uh, maybe this one over here. Let's just try this. So I just want to cover it in chutney. Mm. Really good texture, that crispiness on the outside and that cakiness and the cakiness is really moist so it actually bursts with liquid when I bit into it. That chutney had a little bit of spice and quite a bit of sweetness. This is sort of, it's like a vessel for chutneys because it is quite simple but I want to get this side because those big chilies are hiding in there. You can see actually it's quite difficult to break up because the outside is really crispy but almost hard. All right, uh, coconut chutney this time. Ooh. Oh yeah, that was good. The chilies weren't spicy, they were just really sweet. And the coconut chutney was super sweet, really fresh tasting, really light. And just that is a great little vessel for chutney. This rava dosa is just covering everything. And as I've been eating that ball, it's sort of collapsed into the chutney, so it's taking on lots of flavors. I want to grab a bit. So dosa is a um, it's like a fermented rice flour batter. It's kind of like a pancake. So they put it on a big hot plate, spread it out really thin, and this one has some semolina in it as well. And this is super thin. This one, so it's filled with holes. It's packed with. Uh, I can see green chilies, I can see curry leaves, and there's all these big black dots which look like peppercorns, and then a ton of cumin seeds. So I've got a piece with some big green chilies in it. I'm gonna dunk it into the, um, into the dal. Oh. Wow. The pepper flavor from those peppercorns. It's super strong. The chilies were a bit crunchy and not too spicy, just a nice little fresh chili hit. The, the batter on the edges is super crispy, like really crunchy crispy. But then there's other portions that are a bit thicker, so it's still quite squishy. And I love that texture mix up. And it's not um, overly sour. Often these can be quite sour from the fermented batter. And just look how thin it is. You can see these textures, I mean, so really crunchy down here on the edge. And then much softer up here in the center bit. I love the taste of pepper. So look at these peppercorns in this piece. There's so many of them. So I want to get this into these chutneys to try it. And there's so many chutneys on this banana leaf. So this white one is a coconut chutney with a bunch of mustard seeds in it. 
I think this dark one is a coriander chutney. This slightly lighter one under here is a mint chutney. And this one has a tomato base. So I'm gonna go with the, the dark coriander chutney. So that's, you can see how thick that is. It really coats the, the dosa. Mm. Wow. Oh, the peppercorn really pop in your mouth. They give a burst, burst of peppery flavor, really strong. And that chutney is great. Even though it's, it looks like really cooked down, like it won't be fresh tasting, it's actually got a really fresh, light, sweet flavor. An absolute staple food item here in the south are these idli. So a little rice cake, you'll often see these at breakfast time. And this restaurant's famous for this. So let's crack into this. Oh, it's quite doughy and cakey and quite sticky. You can see how it's really stuck to my fingers. I'm gonna get it through the tomato chutney. Yum, yum. The texture is amazing. It is very cakey, very sour. The chutney is quite sweet, so it balances out the sourness of the, of the idli. That is good, it's very moist, not dry at all. It, to be honest, it looks incredibly dry, but they always do. And this one is not even remotely dry. It's super moist and another perfect vessel for all these chutneys and the dal. I was just ripping into this panyaram and eating the other side that I didn't have when the camera was on before. And I found some cheese. So it's like a, a craft, like a processed cheese in there. And it takes it up so many notches. So I'm gonna get some chutney on there. <laughs> Adds that creamy burst. That is awesome. That just like takes it from being quite a good sort of vessel for everything else to being really good in its own right. I know it's super tasty now. I love that cheese burst. Right outside the restaurant they have a stall which is serving Jigga Thunder which is a really famous drink here in Tamil Nadu which is the state that Chennai is in. So let's go and grab one. This is the Jigga Thunder and we watched the guy making it. So he took some shaved ice and then he poured some sarsaparilla root syrup on top of it then filled it up with a milk which is quite thick and that's because it was thickened with almond gum and then topped it all off with a scoop of ice cream all right mm. wow to go for some more it's really creamy very sweet and you sure can taste taste that sarsaparilla root syrup. The, uh, the name Jigga Thunder translates to cool heart and it sure is refreshing, it's really good. I thought he started with some crushed ice but it's not, it's like jelly almost. So you've got this jelly texture, it tastes a bit like almonds and then quite a foamy, milky, creamy drink. Mm. It's so refreshing. It's very hot in Chennai today. I think it's 34 degrees Celsius. So this is going down really well. Another amazing food hunting day. Don't forget to check out the rest of our India videos because we've been traveling all over India, trying some incredible food and making these videos. We are loving being in Chennai. Remember to hit that subscribe button. We've got heaps more videos from here and also Hyderabad to come. Give this video a huge thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Oh, also, if you want to support Chasing Your Plate content, check out our Patreon page. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Potu Varan. Potu Varan.